Hey guys, this is Katie Kendall. I am about to take you through a really great sequence that you can do at any time that you really just need to wake up. It involves a bit of twisting, so it's great for your digestive system. I.e. great for those times when you're feeling a little bit lethargic and stuck and tired. So you can do it any time, your lunch break, preferably before you've eaten, so you've got an empty stomach. Awesome to do first thing in the morning. So, go ahead and come straight into it, onto all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips. We're going to spread the fingers out wide. Bums turn to face each other, and then curl onto your toes with the knees, and then lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. So once you're back there, just look there between your feet, pedal the feet out a little bit, those feet are hip distance, spreading your fingers out wide, pressing down into all ten fingers. Make sure there's lots of space there in your upper back, so you need to roll the shoulders out of the way from the ears, then do deep breaths. Right leg high to the sky, hip square. And as you exhale, squeeze your right knee towards the chin so the shoulders are over the wrists. And then inhale, send it up and back. And exhale, step your right foot through between the hands, drop the left knee gently and sweep your hands out in front and up. Inhale, maybe lift the gaze for some of you. And then exhale, your hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. Left leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your left knee in towards the chin, chin to knee. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, step your left foot through between the hands, drop the right knee and sweep your hands out in front and up, inhale. And exhale, your hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. Right leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your right knee to chin, chin to knee. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, step through again. Your left knee gently drops. Sweep your hands out and up. Inhale. This time bring your hands together. Exhale, hands down the centre. Now the twist. Inhale, lean forward. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And exhale, your left elbow over your right knee. Palms pressed together. And gently twist and turn to your right. Keep the shoulders down the back. And every time you exhale, draw the navel to spine. Let's take one more breath in. A full breath out to twist. And sit your hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Left leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your left knee towards the chin, chin to knee. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, step your left foot through again. Gently drop the right knee. Sweep the hands out in front and with your breath. Inhale. Palms touch, exhale, hands down the centre, inhale, lean forward into your collarbones and exhale, your right elbow over the left knee this time, use your elbow against the knee to help you twist. Palms press gently together, take one more breath. And then place your hands to the floor, step back to downward facing up. If you're tired, stay here, otherwise with the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your right knee to chin, chin to knee. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, step your right foot through, come to crescent lunge. We stay on the left toes. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands down the center of your torso. Again, you can stay here or to twist. Inhale, lean forward into your collarbones. And exhale, your left elbow over your right knee, twist and turn to the right. Beautiful twist. If you need to modify, drop the left knee. Otherwise, keep it straight. Fire up your left leg. Take one more breath. And then sit your hands to the floor. Step back and down. The facing dog, left leg goes high. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze your left knee to chin, chin to knee. Inhale, full breath. Exhale, step the left foot through. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, hands down the centre. Again, step if you did first side or lead forward. Inhale. Exhale, right elbow over the left knee. Balance can be tricky, so find that gaze to the side. Soft eyes. As you exhale, navel to spine. One more breath. And then hands to the floor, step back, downward facing dog, take three deep breaths, something like a bit of downward facing dog to wake us up, to decompress the spine. 
and then lift your heels and ripple forward. So you come into a high plank, a long sloping line from the crown of the head to the heels, pull the navel right in towards the spine. And you're more than welcome to drop the knees here or lower all the way down to the ground. Chest first and then the belly. Cut your fingertips out in front, point the toes, press your pelvis into the floor. And as you inhale, begin to lift your chest up. Exhale, come down. With your breath, inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. The last time, peel up off the floor, inhale. Keep your shoulders down the back. And as you exhale, lower it down. And then push back via your knees. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, letting your head drop completely. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Walk the big toes together. And Utkatasana chair pose, bend the knees, inhale. Exhale, the hands to center. Inhale, the chest sit a little bit lower. And exhale, left elbow over the right knee, twist and turn to the right for three breaths. Your sit bones lower than your forehead. On an in breath, come to center. And on an out breath, right elbow over the left knee. Twist and turn to the left. Knees stay together, checking that your big toes are touching. One more breath. And then come to center. And slowly stand, reach your arms up one last time. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands on the center, rest at your heart space. Connect your thumbs to the sternum, maybe sensing that beat of the heart. Warmth of the body. <sighs> 